Hey, what is up, mortals? It is Trina Duhart here with a new video for you. Welcome to part two of What If Deku Was Given the Six Paths Power? I just wanted to greet you guys by just saying, sit back and relax, you're in for a treat. So, we begin. It had been a few weeks since that fated moment in which Izuku had met the sage of the Six Paths, Hagarumo Otsusuki. Since then, he had not only become All Might's apprentice, but he had also begun a training regimen to master his granted power. Most of it would take place at the Takaba Municipal Beach Park, which had been filled with trash over the years. Cleaning it over the next few months should strengthen young Midoriya's body, this being an essential thing as a Six Paths mode amplified his base state much fold. And once he felt satisfied with his progress, Izuku would take the UA entrance exam, preferably upon the next term, which would be in just about nine months from now. He has had a few sparring matches with All Might since they started, testing out new ideas and seeing how far he could go in his current state. It had turned out that Midoriya could manipulate his truth-seeking orbs to form anything he wanted, maybe individually or all at once. He could create a staff with ease, similar to the one that the Sage had on their meeting, and with it, he could collide with any of All Might's strikes at full power. Izuku had also taken a liking to forming blades with them. These could also be shot out like normal orbs and even used in long-range encounters if necessary, as Izuku still had control over them as long as he could see them. But most importantly, he had created a technique inspired by his idol, the Six Paths Gauntlet Smash. With all nine truth-seeking orbs, he formed a massive gauntlet on top of his right hand. And with it, he would hit the other combatant in the style of the All Might Smashes. He had only used it once, and it had caused both him and All Might to fly backwards after the collision. Perhaps it was too dangerous for now, so it wouldn't be used until it was needed. And so the training continued. A few months later, as All Might was watching young Midoriya cleaning one of the remaining sections of the dirty beach, an unexpected visitor made their presence known. So, this is your so-called successor. Mirio was cast aside for this boy. What do you see in him, All Might? Said the man as he pushed his glasses up. Thanks for coming, Night Eye. I never expected you to do so, but I'm glad you did. And as for that, yes, that over there is young Midoriya, my current student and future successor. He might not look like much to you, but he truly has the heart of a hero, All Might exclaimed, his big iconic smile adorning his face. Sir Night Eye stood there, looking at his friend in confusion. A mere scrawny kid had gotten his attention and, consequently, had taken away the golden opportunity that his protege, Mirio, had been given prior. In a way, this sparked a rage inside of him similar to the one that had surfaced years back at the hospital when All Might ignored his foresight to continue being a hero without him as a sidekick by his side. All Might would perish against the villain in the now ever-approaching future. That was for certain, as he had foreseen it with his ability. So wasting his remaining time on this child was all but an actual waste of time. How so? He asked, awaiting an immediate response. When I met him, he seemed like a desperate child. He cried for validation. Being quirkless most likely had that sort of impact on his life. But when the situation became dire and no one else moved, he ran headfirst to save someone. From that moment on, I knew that young Izuku Midoriya would be my successor. All Might had been genuine with his answer. This would have been clear to anyone. But to Sir Night Eye, this was preposterous. No matter what his friend said, nothing would change his mind. Mirio was the only one the savior that had been cultivated in a precise manner to inherit the great responsibility that is one for all. Without it, all that Mirio had done would have been made in vain. All his hard work would have been transformed into nothing. He would not accept this. I refuse. That boy is not worthy to inherit your power. Even if it isn't Mirio who gets it, there must be many better choices out there. Sir Night Eye fumed. He just had to change All Might's mind because it was clear he wasn't thinking straight. The decision has been made already. I won't back down from what I know is right. You should know that better than anyone, Night Eye. That was the moment that Sir Night Eye knew that it was pointless to continue the conversation. Just like that time at the hospital, his words were not getting to him. So with that, he fixed his tie and walked away. This had been an utter waste of time after all. All Might was left there in thought. His friend had just left without giving him or his student a chance. Maybe Night Eye still resented him after what had happened back then. If only he had stayed and talked it out more. Instead, he just stormed out without a care for his well-being to continue being the hero that people expected him to be. Who was that, All Might? Suddenly it was heard as Izuku approached the currently distracted All Might. Oh, him? That was an old friend of mine. He just wanted to check up on me. 
All Might, in a way, lied to not worry Midoriya. Okay then. I'm done for today, so I'll be going home now if that's alright with you, All Might. But All Might placed his hand on the boy's shoulder and gave him a thumbs up. Good job, young Midoriya. Your work today was splendid. So much so that I'll treat you to whatever you may like. You must be quite hungry, correct? All Might asked, trying to make it so his student would forget about the friend that visited just now. I sure am! How about we eat at a place near my house? They sell the best katsudon ever there! The young boy answered without skipping a beat. There was no way he would miss a chance to eat alongside All Might. Then there we shall go. Let's get going before the night eats us whole. A few minutes later, they arrived at the lively little restaurant, and they ordered their respective dishes. It all became quiet when it came time to pay up, though. My wallet's not here? All Might announced comically, his pockets being empty and all. This was followed by All Might running out of the place and jumping out of view. Sometime later, he returned with the wallet, a bit ashamed for having caused such an embarrassing scene to occur the first time he invited young Midoriya out to eat. Regardless, they ate peacefully minutes later, as if that had never happened. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Staying safe online is an ever-growing difficulty, and hackers could exploit you. NordVPN allows you to change your IP address, making you harder to track, securing your privacy. In addition to providing you with safe passage through the web, you can also span the reach of your favorite streaming services. Are you tired of going through two, three, or even four streaming services to watch your favorite anime? Well, with NordVPN, you can change your country and be able to binge shows like My Hero Academia, Naruto, and many others on your favorite streaming service with just the press of a button. Check out the link in the description to get 72% off when buying for two years slash 3.29 a month. This deals for a limited time. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Most of the next day had been uneventful for Izuku. He had gone to school, passed some exams, and then came over to clean another section of the beach. It was all normal until he went to pick up a discarded TV and saw a face sticking out of it. A head with a simplistic face and blonde hair winked directly at him. He immediately dropped it and jumped back, thinking that perhaps he had seen things due to being tired. But he wasn't seeing things. This was all real. Cleaning dress, am I right? This TV didn't even look quite right. The face spoke, scaring the green-haired boy even more. It became even creepier when the face popped out of the TV, with the whole body below it no less. This made Midoriya freak out enough to activate his form. Oh, I get it. Your quirk allows you to become a Christmas light show. Get it? Light show? No answer? I see. You must lack a sense of humor being a Christmas tree and all. The blonde stranger continued as if anything he said could be taken as a joke. It's not! This is my power! The six paths power! exclaimed Izuku as he became serious and adopted a fighting stance. Hmm, yeah, never heard of it. But once Sir told me about you, I just had to see. Midoriya just stood there dumbfounded. He couldn't understand how this character functioned. Just what in the world are you? Izuku asked. Me? I'm part of UA's Class 2B. My name's Mirio Togata, and it is a pleasure to meet you, Izuku Midoriya, was it? Wait, you're a student of UA? Of course I am. I worked my butt off to get there, and now I'm on my way to save at least a million people. Mirio answered and then awkwardly laughed out loud. That's quite inspiring. But why are you here then? Did All Might bring you here? Midori asked. Mirio stretched out and got into position right in front of Izuku. I'm just here to test you out. It'll be over in a breeze. Don't hold back, okay? Let's have some fun. And just like that, Mirio disappeared from view, and only his clothes remained as they collapsed on the sand. Izuku looked around, trying to locate him, but before he could react, he was hit with a heavy punch into his gut. The air escaped him instantly, and then he transformed once more. The now naked Mirio kept abusing his quirk, permeation, while Midoriya could only block some of his strikes. The million was relentless, not a moment wasted as he wanted to test how long All Might's apprentice could last against him. Izuku had enough, so he flew upwards and away from the immediate area. Perhaps now he could formulate a strategy to counterattack. He's phasing through everything at an incredible speed! My attacks aren't even landing either. And worst of all, he doesn't even seem to be slowing down. Midoriya mumbled to himself as he tried to locate Mirio below. What Izuku hadn't noticed was that right then, Lemillion had gone underground just so when he deactivated his quirk, he would be sent in an upwards trajectory and right into the unexpecting green-haired boy. So as this very thing happened, Midoriya was fast enough to shield himself with his truth-seeking orbs. And even more unexpectedly, Mirio was unable to phase through it. 
Mirio landed back down, and Izuku slowly descended as well. The sparring match seemed to be over now. That was rather odd. Never before have I been unable to pass through something, but that shield you made negated my permeation without a chance to counter. Sir was wrong. You are quite interesting. Mirio laughed as he put his previously discarded clothes back on. Izuku and Mirio conversed for a few minutes after that, exchanging their contact info just before the blonde one left. It had turned to night by now, and Izuku was beaten for the day. Tomorrow he would have to make up for what he missed today, but as he stared into the sea, he could only wonder where All Might had been today. He hadn't shown up or even sent a message since yesterday. This was quite odd, but Izuku pushed it off as him probably being too busy rescuing people and solving problems. Yeah, that was probably it. He was the number one hero after all. Deku! He heard from behind him quite loudly. He turned around, and there he was, Katsuki Bakugo, staring him down with an ominous glare. He had a black tank top on alongside some dark pants. Kachan, Izuku said thoughtfully as they stared each other down. I'm aware of what you've been doing here. Training alongside All Might? Improving the usage of the quirk you hid from me? Was it fun looking down on me after you saved me from the sludge villain? You clearly need to relearn where your place is, you worthless runt. Explosions began to erupt from both of Bakugo's palms, and they only got louder and louder as the seconds passed by. Izuku could only let out a sigh. Bakugo had only gotten worse since that day. I'm sorry, Kachan, but I won't let you lay a hand on me again. Those days in which I was your easy prey are long gone. I won't hesitate to defend myself and restrain you if that's what's needed. This new attitude only served to fuel the ever-growing anger inside Bakugo. The explosion maniac was no longer thinking straight or anywhere near it tonight. In this very place, he would show this nerd that no kind of quirk and training could ever allow him to surpass someone with an astounding quirk like his. Heh, <laughs> you will try. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in all this information thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, there are a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, I'd like to thank our patrons. BD Flames, Ethan Davis, Terry Chills, Shifter Melees, Adam Zagel, Zill, XAVB03, and Joshua Phelps. Secondly, I also like to thank all of our YouTube members: Toya Costa, Rob the King, Sith Lord 906, CF2364, and Knuckles, Rumiu Tempest, Angel Juarez, Donald C. Stewart, Brian Greer, and Demonized Fox. Thirdly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, you the Celestials has got you covered. Our We the Celestials, My Hair Academia, and Naruto What If channels retell the story of their namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Fourthly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in today's excellent content production. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We the Celestials, I'd like to extend an invitation to join the team. The only caveat is that we only accept members from 16 years old to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for members to join us. And if you want more content from me, check out my socials at Trina Duhart on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Well, that's it for us from today's video, so thank you all for watching and have a great day.